Hi. Ancoms are terrible people, and I'll tell you why. Anarcho-communists. There's only one way that they can get their ideolo ideology put across, and that is to kill everybody who doesn't agree with them. Or punish them, or, or put them into re-education camps, or whatever. Anarcho-capitalists, by and large, believe in the non-aggression principle. I know, and you guys are going to be like, oh, but, 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 non-aggression. Well, I'm sorry, that's our axioms. Don't aggress other people. Don't screw with other people. If you do, you have consequences. And we don't need a centralized government for that. And... <laughs> Capitalism has thrived in spite of governments, not because of, in spite of. That's why you got agorism and the black market, weed and loose cigarettes and whatever, car parts, you know, Silk Road. So capitalism can, even in your nasty, disgusting communist world, there will be a capitalistic underground to take care of the needs that your communists at the top won't provide for the people. So there will always be a market. Money is evil. No, it's... <laughs> Money is a medium of trade. Sure, it looks evil now because it's the medium of trade is controlled by a very small group of people called central bankers, which there wouldn't be in an anarcho-capitalistic society. Just a, a FYI. And what ANCAPs try to do is talk to people to convince them that it's a good idea. It's better than what we have now where there's a small group of people at the top that just screw everybody at the bottom. Anarcho-communists say, well, in an ANCAP society, there's still a pyramid. No, sure, there might be pyramid, but lots of them, whole bunches of them. You can have your own pyramid if you want, and there's nothing to stop you except your ability to produce a service or a product can't do those things, then, you, then go work for somebody else, or go homestead and trade eggs for uh, uh, milk. You know, that's fine too. In an ANCAP society, no one's going to tell you how to make your way. If you want to have an anarcho-communism within an ANCAP society, but we don't care. We truly don't care, as long as you folks don't use violence on the rest of us. Oh, and uh, how are the ANCOMs going to overthrow the ANCAPs when you guys don't have guns? Where are you guys getting guns? Well, we're going to use them. Yeah, okay, you guys are going to steal them. Okay, great. Because there's no morality within your... Morality is subjective. No. It's the mutually preferred behavior. You don't want to be cut into little pieces and fed to dogs. So why would you cut people into little pieces and feed them to dogs? That's what mutually preferred behavior is. We're not talking about what society sees as today. We're talking about the philosophical understanding of the mutually preferred behavior and the non-aggression principle. It isn't about being pacifist because <laughs> I don't know any ANCAPs who are pacifists. Most of them, if not all of them, have guns and are totally willing to take responsibility for themselves and their own security. What about China? If you understood the G, the political situation in China, your buttholes wouldn't be puckering so bad about uh, the likelihood of them invading. There's only two ways to get your ideology implemented across a, a, a great swath of population. One is to convince them. It's to talk to them and to educate them 
on the merits of your ideologue. If it's a good ideologue, then a lot more people will grab onto it and uh, it'll eventually be implemented as the norm. Or secondly, you can use force and kill millions of people and make rice paddy workers into doctors and you can just destroy society all which way and mess with the mentality of your constituency of the people oh power to the people so yeah force or education and comms lack the patience and the maturity to uh, go the long route through discourse and discussion so they would want to do it by force and anything that's obtained by force doesn't last sorry because you're going to create rancor in the survivors in the in the um, survivors I don't know the progeny of the people you've offended offended didn't mean to use that word uh, destroyed there we go better word <laughs> Yeah. If if society was voluntary, there would be a lot less rancor. A lot less uh, going on. Because nothing's done by force. Nobody's being made to do anything. What about cannibalism? I don't know. I don't like long pork myself. Pork myself. Pork myself. Pork myself. Pork myself. Pork myself.